Port Nolath, a very remote town on the Atlantic coastline with a population of around 7,000, where everyone knows everyone and everything about everyone. I've lived here for four years and whenever I tell people where I live, I get crazy responses. Port Nolath, where's that? The wind blows a lot there, doesn't it? And my favorite, don't people pick up diamonds in the streets there? We are situated on the west coast of South Africa in the Northern Cape Province, 100 kilometers south of the border of Namibia. Yes, the wind blows here, most trees and bushes lean north due to the constant south winds. Some days are pretty pleasant, others not so much. As for the diamonds, I will get there soon. It's mainly a fishing, crayfish and diamond town, with a lot of unemployment. This is just my perspective on the town and what I have learned in my four years here. It's a tranquil life and a cultural shock coming from the endless shops and choices of Johannesburg. Town is a 30-minute experience, two supermarkets, the larger being small in comparison to most in the big cities, one clothing shop, one bank, one hardware store, one hotel, a good-sized healthcare center, we have a good number of restaurants and takeaways, a few bottle stores, a gorgeous beach line, beautiful McDougal's Bay just 5 kilometers to the south. Basically beside King's Cafe, the sidewalks roll up at around 6 p.m. out of season, and not much later in season. Due to the large unemployment rate, we have our fair share of petty crime, but violent crimes are almost unheard of. Not a whole lot to do in Port Nolath, but it sure is a quiet place to spend a holiday, walking on the beach, visiting the salt pans and eating out, away from the busy life of the city, where you never have to worry about being hijacked, being held at gunpoint, or having your vehicle stolen. Our snook and crayfish seasons are good times to visit. Crayfish season, being 12 days between December and April 2022 and 2023 this year, for recreational fishing, with a maximum of 4 per person per day. Snook season is around April. The many restaurants are reasonably priced, the many guest houses offer prices from around 600 rand, for 2 people per night. There is also a caravan park on the beach, in McDougal's, from around 400 rand per night and the country club from 900 rand per night. As for the diamond question, some people say, you could perhaps find a diamond in the rock pools along the beach, but from what I've seen it's way harder than that, it requires a lot of hard work in the felt with shovels, picks, generators and jackhammers, for little or no gain, and on the off chance big gains, although it is highly illegal and does lead to huge problems with the law, and the risk of having everything, including your vehicles confiscated, in saying this, I must admit, it doesn't seem to deter most of the community, as well as a lot of outsiders and is a long-standing controversial subject in Port Nolith.